what's up everybody welcome to Mets with casting i am gustin mapala right here at Mets with casting today let's have a look at question three november 2022 grade 10 Mets paper one as we continue with our series of doing all these past papers a uh, question per question from 2022 to 2020 starting from question one up until the last question and then uh, we deal with them question per question and see how did they change over the years i am gaston mapala i will be taking you through question three right here it's a number pattern or a rather series sequence and series question uh, it says uh, it's divided into two questions 3.1 and 3.2 so i'm gonna go ahead and deal with the uh, 3.1 Okay, 3.1, it says that your friends, Zayn and uh, Le Leti, have, uh, have been trying to solve an exercise based on the following uh, sequence 2, 6, 10, and 14. Leti says that the 10th ten, the term is, is given by, <coughs> excuse me, the nth term is given by... Uh, Tn is equal to 4n minus 2, and then Zayn says is given by uh, 4 in brackets n minus 1 plus 2. Who is right? Use your algebra to justify your answer, all right? Okay, let's come here. We are going to deal with uh, 3.1. Uh, 3.1. Uh, okay, so what we have to do here, we need to find the nth or the general formula rather of this number pattern so what do we do we need to check here we're going to take the difference between these two which is equals to 4 and then 10 minus 6 is equals to 4 14 minus 10 is going to give us 4 okay and therefore you would remember that in order for us to get this we had to say t2 minus t1 okay and then this one the next one here we had to say t3 minus t2 i'm just giving you a little bit of a background here guys and then uh, also uh, you can say t3 minus or t4 rather minus uh, uh, t3 okay and that's how you would get this fours here and then this fours the uh, equals to common difference right okay so therefore with that having, having in mind, we can use this formula, guys. I have checked is there on our formula sheet for grade 10. So I know some teachers will use something different. But uh, there are many ways to kill a cat. I personally prefer to use this one. I know some you say maybe your teacher is using this one. There is nothing wrong with that. Maybe he's using a TN. Or he or she is using TN. It's equals to DN plus C. Nothing wrong with this one, guys. You can completely use it as well, but I just prefer using this one here so that you don't have to deal with the problem on try to find C, rather. Okay, so now A, A refers to the first term. Okay, A is equals to the first term. The first term here in this case uh, is equals to first term. Okay. And then D is the first difference. And then n is just the number of terms okay so in this case here in terms of this sequence uh, the first term is two equals to two and then the difference is four therefore we can substitute that into our acute question here where it says a is equal to two plus n minus one then the difference is four two then you remove the bracket there therefore we need to remove the bracket this is going to be plus remove the bracket uh, you're gonna get 4n uh, this times this and then n 4 times minus 1 so you're going to have minus 4 is equal to 4n 2 minus 4 is going to give us minus 2 therefore tn is equal to minus 2 so based on this looks like light is correct light is correct and then if you were to simplify this let's see here let's remove the brackets to make sure that we get it 4n minus 4 plus 2 therefore you're gonna have 4n minus 2 all right so you can come here and say uh, both of them are correct both of them 
are correct. Okay. And that will be your answer. They said you must justify your answer. So therefore, both of them are correct. All right. Okay, let's move right, right along. 1.3.2. They said determine the value of the 27th term of the sequence. So they are looking for n is equals to 27. Okay. So we're going to substitute that into our general formula. T27. Okay. We need to come here. Substitute 27 here, 27 minus that. If we punch this into our calculator, uh, how much do we get? Uh, put it in my calculator, I get uh, 106. That is our 27th term. And that's how you deal with this question. Now let's move to 3.2. If you've got any questions, guys, please make sure that you leave them on the comment section below and make sure that you subscribe to this channel as we are continuing to giving you more examples like these ones. All right, great stuff. So 3.2 said consider the following sequence minus 3, 2, 7, 12, and 17. They want us to determine the nth term of the sequence. If we look at this one, nth term of the sequence, ah, we just need to come here and try to find the difference like we did previously. 2 minus minus 3 is going to give us 5. 5 minus 2 is going to give us, no, rather 7 minus 2, 5. 2 minus 7, 5. 17 minus 12, 5. Okay? So, therefore, we already know that a we're going to use this formula here tn is equals to a plus n minus 1 all in brackets d this formula is there in your formula sheet is the formula we used to find the nth term of a arithmetic sequence the sequence that has only the first difference okay so we know that this is equals to a because this is our first term which is 3 and then d is our difference there Therefore, we're just going to come here and say, okay, minus 3 plus n minus 1, the difference of 5. Okay, therefore, we can remove the brackets, minus 3, minus 3 rather, plus 5n minus 5. Because what I did here is to remove the bracket here, like that. Okay, great stuff. Uh, so, we're going to be left with uh, 5n this is tn 5n uh, that's minus 3 minus 5 is going to give us minus 8 okay and that's how you would find the nth term of this of this uh, sequence 3.2.2 they are saying determine the value of the 52 52nd term 52nd term determine the value of the 52nd number to end in a seven all right so now a little bit tricky this one but um if you look at our series here which number ends at seven seven ends with seven so that's number one then you've got 17 there that ends with seven so which number is going to come after this that will end with seven okay so it's going to be 27 well done if he says 27 okay why why how did i get 27 okay let me put it here seven uh, 17 if you say 17 minus 7 what do you get you get 10 okay so if you come here and say 17 plus 10 what do you get you get 27 that's how i managed to get 27 guys so now <coughs> this is our new sequence now for numbers that are ending with 27 all right because if you uh, if you come here and then you can continue forever guys you can come here and say what if if you add 10 here this is going to end with 7 again. You're going to get 37. All right. Great stuff. So now, we already have our first term here. First thing first, we need to find what is a, our general formula, rather, or the nth term. We've got 7, and then d is equals to 10. Then we can substitute that into our formula from our formula sheet. Okay. You're going to have 7 there, plus n minus 1, uh, 10. Okay, we we'll remove the bracket here. 7. 10 times n is going to be 10n. 
10 times negative 1 is going to be negative 10. We're going to have 10 n. Therefore, 7 minus 10 is going to be uh, 7 minus 10 is going to be in minus 3. So this is our nth term or rather. Okay, so now what are we looking for? We're looking for term number 52. All right. So we are going to come here and say, okay, term number 52 is going to be 10 times 52 minus 3. Okay, which will give us, if you put this in our calculator, let me just punch it down and I see that is giving me 517. Okay. And that's how you would deal with this one, ladies and gentlemen. That was question 3, November 2020, grade 10, mass paper 1. I am Gaston Mapala. Make sure that you subscribe so that I see you on the next upload.